I, dogs don't live as long as we do. An old dog is like 14 and then they die. We live to 90 if we're, you know, eat well and wear a seatbelt. You divide the two, you get a, basically a factor of seven. Okay. Yeah. So this is the, where the seven dog years formula comes from. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so if a dog is three, oh, they're 21 in dog years. This is what we say. How authentic is that, you can ask? It's a convenience, but is there any deeper meaning to it? And I think there is. Okay. It means every single day a dog lives is equivalent to a week of your life. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a <laughs> seven to one ratio. Poor yeah. handsome. So if they, <laughs> if, if, if they only get one day for every week you're alive, they make every day count. Now, of course, they're not yeah, doing gonna, the math. I gotta, I gotta right take now. my dog for a walk. <laughs> if one was able to stop time, is it true that you wouldn't be able to see anything because the photons would freeze too? Can we make an exception to that? You know, mm. I, I don't know if I have a good answer for that. No. Because to the photon, there is no time. Mm. You might have heard that the faster you go, the slower time ticks. This is relativity. And in the limit, at the speed of light, time stops. Yeah. Photons, which exist at the speed of light, when they are emitted at whatever, wherever they came from, my PhD thesis was on the center of the galaxy, mm -hmm. which is 30,000 light years away. And when I captured those photons, for me watching them, they took 30,000 years. But if you're the photon, the instant you left the center of the galaxy, you hit my detector You're right there in the same instant. Yeah. So if there's zero time, I don't know what effect that would have on the photons. Right. Because they don't ever have time. 